what? So, Meek Mill and- What's going on YouTube? We reacting right now, right, right now to Meek Mill talking shit about DJ drama. Calls the man's a goofy. We're gonna get right into it. Let's see if this is some hate or this is some real shit. All right, so yeah, this was crazy too. Oh no. So Meek Mill called DJ Drama a goofy for speaking down on him in interviews. On Sunday, Meek Mill hopped on Twitter, on, hopped on his Twitter account, and he blasted DJ Drama for talking down on him, especially when he told, or especially when he told or said earlier this year that he thought Lil Uzi Vert's song, Just Wanna Rock, replaced Meek Mill's Dreaming Nightmare at the new Philadelphia anthem. So basically, this is kind of uh, old, right? This more so seems like some hate based right off that. It seems really like Meek is mad that D- DJ Drama wanted to say that his song was replaced as the anthem for Philly. But I mean, I-, I would never in my life say I just want to rock. It's the Philly anthem. That don't even sound. That don't even sound right, nigga. Like, when you think Philly, you think gritty. You think, you think. You know what I'm saying? You think back, back to, back to fucking. My fault. You think back to Rockefeller, you know what I'm saying? They had beads. They had beanie. Bro, Beanie Siegel is exactly what you think about when you think Philly shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't. You think, you think like, AR Ab and shit. You know what I'm saying? You do not think I just want to rock. You do not think. You do not think that. That's not it. That's not what you think. Don't clip that, but that's not <laughs> that's not what you think when you think Philly rap. Definitely not the anthem, right, bro. So Dreams and nightmares. Meek Mill and DJ Drama been having some. That shit may be the anthem for Philly forever, nigga. Behind the scenes shit going on for a minute now. So what people don't know is DJ Drama is actually responsible for fucking leaking the Drake writing, the Drake songwriting shit with Quentin Miller. So Meek Mill and Drake kind of been at odds since this shit. I mean, not me, Mill and Drake, but me, Mill and DJ Drama have been at odds since this. But what since, I'm saying is, hasn't this fool Drama made these comments before? He's definitely made comments and shit, but over the weekend, fucking Meek Mill hopped on Twitter and just Oh, Meek us, Mill addressed it now. He gave us more insight on what's actually going on with I them. see. If you go to the next page, I'll read some of the tweets. So Meek Mill tweeted, DJ Drama a goofy over these hoes. He won't speak good to me. I'll turn him up in the A. If they asked about DJ Drama and Khaled, I wouldn't speak, and I made millions on paper with Khaled. I stay silent. I'm from Philly. We don't wear our fitted hats like that. Drama. Shop at Michelin S. <laughs> That's crazy. I asked Drama why he always speaking down to me with a few other words. Uh, I asked Drama why he always speaking down to me with a few other words, too, and told him he's a goofy. I also hit him and tried to compare Dreams and Nightmares to I Wanna Rock and downplay me. Don't let these industry lames use you. They don't really even like you like that. So Meek Mill, all right, so Meek Mill was you mad skip at- You the, the screenshot, my G? No. My man just read a whole bunch of words that weren't in there, but he, he did read every word that was in that tweet, at least. So it seems like Meek Mill is, is, mad, at, uh, is mad at DJ Drama, especially around his comments. Like I said, that Dreams and Nightmares have been replaced as the anthem with I Just Wanna Rock by Uzi, and, and obviously Drama has uh, connections to Uzi, but Drama also, as they just described, has connections to- Meek Mill with the whole Drake situation. So this is interesting to see play out right here with uh, somebody that you you had dealings with to kind of try to expose another rapper. Those things backfired on DJ Drama. Now it seems like DJ Drama uh, maybe, or at least it seems like Meek Mill may feel as though DJ Drama is speaking on uh, Uzi's record, replacing his with a little bit with a little hate. You know what I'm saying? With a little anger. So that's that's probably why Meek Mill feels away. Feels like DJ Drama saying all this because he caused some backlash over the Drake. Uh, Quentin Miller situation back in the day. I was gonna read over it, read it, but this is coming from I. Right, so DJ uh, Icon sweatshirt is fire. Drama did an interview where the guy was comparing Meek Mill and DJ Drama. Shorty on the right is fire. Remo's pants are fire. Josh looks like shit. I mean, they was comparing Meek Mill and Jay Z, and DJ Drama was basically saying that uh, Meek Mill is not on Jay Z's level and shit. So he's kind of saying like. I wouldn't compare you and DJ Khaled, so if someone asked me if Khaled's better than you, I wouldn't even get into it. So he was kind of upset for him just even entertaining the thought, and it just led to him just started tweeting more shit. But it was a lot of underlying shit, too. They said that uh, Meek Mill was, like, smashing some of DJ Drama chicks in Atlanta. Ooh! 
Ooh, that might be what it's about. He might not be about smashing up. He might not be smashing up. That's probably why, bro, mad. He was smashing his bitches. And then fucking Drake allegedly smashed Summer Walker. Not Summer Walker, but Summer P, which was DJ Drama's uh, ex chick. And that's. Somebody was smashing up. Somebody was smashing up. That's what was going on. That's the whole reason why he even leaked the fucking. Everything is over some pussy. God There's so, damn. so many women in the world, and all these fools are just dealing with the same girls. That shit's so weird to me. Oh, how God. It is, though. It's like. You know how it is. But there's so many women, though. Right? Like, why? Look, why? look as the, as the shorty that gets passed around reacts. That's how the industry is, though. It's like. <laughs> Nah, so many women though. Like why? Look at Shorty face. Like, you can't see her. Would you, deal with, Would you deal with I've, I've dealt with shit before, but I think a lot of times it's always over with women though. It is though, it's like you know how it is. But there's so many face. women though. Right? Like why? Why like would you deal with I've, I've dealt with shit before, but I think a lot of times it's always over a woman deep down. Facts. Like he, he didn't have to go out of his way to say that, but I think it's other issues. Like, they probably already have problems because um, Meek didn't want to do the tiny desk thing. Mm, yep, that's another reason. So he already, like, was mad at Meek for that. So, you know, when he did the interview, he was probably like... But me personally, I've seen women that... I've seen a girl who was fucking with little, with little Baby and Future at the same time. And all these rappers, they're aware that they're all fucking the same bitches. And a lot of times these bitches be the ones putting them in beef. Talking like a, shit. I've Pillow literally talking. seen a girl call one rapper about another rapper spazzing, saying like, oh, he put hands on me. And then looking at us laughing, like, cause he didn't. Who's so, the rapper? Oh, well, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Who's the girl? So we don't ever talk to this That's, girl ever. Listen, That's no one, no one Damn. told me to watch out for, <laughs> no one told me, right? Ass. Watch out for this person, that person. That, so y'all gonna have to learn for yourself. You're gonna I'm have not to here. pay it forward, boo, shit. Nah, shit, I'm not. She said anything. nah. I just that. know like a lot like of times, it. like bro, all these popular bitches with motion, deep down, some of them really be like Scandalous starting all of this shit. Cause think about it, like if, like me being in the industry, I know that let's say if I fuck with a rapper, I can't fuck with no one else that he knows. And all these people know everyone. So you kind of have to decide, like if, you're, <laughs> if you fuck with one person, you kind of can't really fuck with no one else. Are or you're, you, you're making the beef happen. Kind so of. it's safe to say that if you messed with someone here at No Jumper, you wouldn't mess with anyone else no. ever again from No Jumper. No. That's very on. Cap. That's good. Like my biggest fear is being in the same room with two men that I fucked and they know each other and they're friends. Like how her biggest fear must be yo, she must live a nightmare, gang. This bitch is in the fucking Suki on the the this bitch is in the fucking hey, what did Itachi used to hit niggas with? Was that the Sukiomi jaunt? Where you would be in there 72 hours just getting dealing with your shit, dealing with getting stabbed and the worst fucking fears that you had and shit. Nigga, nah, you're she is living in the infinite Sukiomi. If she says her biggest fear is being around two dudes she fucked in the same room, this bitch, this bitch is a tree. She this bitch is a tree. You know what I'm saying? That is definitely her reality every fucking day bro look at the room she's in right now she's scuttled her way into the no jumper room this is she definitely scuttles her way into every other situation with multiple rapper you see listen to what she just said gang she just told you and then claimed it to be her biggest fear she's lying <laughs> she's lying she's in the infinite tsukiyomi don't worry about nothing Oh fucking crazy is that? crazy so a lot of times this, the bitch is going after these men like what? Like these men barely have to do anything to even get pussy from these hoes. <laughs> she is talking about herself. Tree. Yeah, Tupac has like a famous line. He says, "When uh, when bitches get horny, niggas die." You heard that? Facts. Facts. Because a lot of that shit do stem from like you know dick and pussy shit. Because I'm pretty sure with this right here, it's some shit where Meat Mill is probably smashing some of DJ Drama chicks. And I know from the fact, I know for a fact that Meek, I mean that Drake and DJ Drama's beef started from Drake having uh, DJ Drama's girlfriend in the studio. They were working on music and then it, supposedly he fucking slept with her and shit. So that's why 
DJ Drama got salty. Tree. And fucking, uh, remember those records of Drake, Clint Miller? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's how a lot of this shit started. So it is a lot of females that at the forefront of the drama. People you know say like, female. oh, like why do y'all mess with the same six girls in the industry? Ask these girls, why are you fucking going around and fucking every single rapper there is instead, you know? She is talking to her about herself and her friends, and that is on God in heaven. But hey, let me know what y'all think down below. Do y'all think what, what do y'all think about this whole thing? Do, one, do you think I just want to rock has replaced dreams and nightmares? And if you do, make sure you um you 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 uh, block me uh, and don't come back. 